in the form of rights? Do we have to give animals rights in order for you to affirm, or just be like, they matter? Like, the, the entire atoms our entire concept of rights is reconceptualized by the new definition of morality. Meaning okay. you run like a arguments on morality on what No no no. What if I run welfare, for example? Why does that not solve that better for these types of animal It doesn't problems? solve that better because we're still operating under the same mindset, which is only when it's Wait, why? Where's the word for why the mindset of anthropocentrism is derived from the fact that it, it is like like great, great. Yeah, that's just it. It's just the mindset. Okay, let's go through the arguments about the mindset in terms of welfare. Like, where would the welfare arguments apply? I don't talk about welfare. Okay, so let's go through the arguments about the mindset. What does Warren 1 say? Sure. What Warren 1 says um, is that, like, the, that debate, like, the, in order for the debate to first happen, we, so the framing of the round must first be done in a way that is like, equitable and non oppressive to the debaters. What? The way the, wait, the debaters? Where does it say that? Or, like, just. In order not I mean, I the question. Wait, why does this even apply to debate? It just says that like a conceptual framework is a socially constructed set of beliefs that shape and reflect how one views oneself and others, and about women and animals. In the Western context, men and humans have been considered to be superior women. Like why does it even apply in debate? Why does it apply in debate? Yeah. Because like, that's coming from the argument right above it that says the resolution of debate can't occur if you have that's a tag. Right. That's the argument, right? Like, okay. The so the tag it comes from the tag. No, the card comes, comes from the tag. tag. It comes from the argument under it that says any Okay. Okay. Um, what is your argument? What is your framework for justifying why domination is bad? My framework for why domination. Yeah. My argument. What do you mean by domination? Like your argument says. My argument is domination makes no sense in the context of the debate round, right? That like when we. Like why do these impacts matter? The way the framework. Like what is the? Do you have a role of the judge argument in this? Okay. So why are the judges obligated to like? Vote on arguments that have to do with what impacts debate. Sure, because they justify the framework. But they say, they then explain why anthropocentrism and anthropocentrism are linked. Like, you should see justification for why we have to not look to anthropocentrism. Okay, that didn't clear anything up, but thank you. All right, let's talk about the uh, Beck. What is what is Beckoff and Pierce? What did what the Beckoff and Pierce one say? What is one? What is yeah. the definition of what, what morality would be? Okay. What, what is morality? The framework calls for a reconceptualization of morality, and under the definition of by Beckoff and Pierce. Um, Why? Well, what is? Is there a distinction between morality and justice? Do you define like distinction, or do you? Justice is conformity and moral rightness. Is there a warrant for that? You want to run the difference between justice and morality. Okay. Then you have to explain why. Okay. It has a link to education. Why does education matter? Just like reasons why the debate around functions. Like I don't give an education voter if that's what you're asking. Okay. All right. Morality is a social phenomenon, right? Wait, according to so, so what if I have a belief and you have a belief? How do we resolve the conflict between that's not the differences? The no, no, no. I, I know that's not the argument. My question is, how do we resolve conflicting beliefs about uh, what morality means in terms of social conflict? Wait, what do you mean? Like, if I believe that we should give animals rights and you don't, how do we resolve those differences? Well, in okay, our, that's in our, because in our you're morality. operating under a different conceptualization of morality. Okay. You're asking given what like, morality is giving to their viewers that they have this function. So my argument is that we need to do conceptualization of morality that deals with the interrelated behaviors of like, okay. complex interactions of animals. Did you read Gruen or Lee? No, I don't read it. No, they're not. Oh, okay, so. Do you want to Okay. 
So, so your birth, so why, so my, what is my burden? My burden is through the animals don't function under a system of morality? Yes. Okay. And your system of morality, the baseline for determining that in a system of morality is what? Anthropocentrism is bad. So right, like, so wait, 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 wait. How does that determine, how does that anything do with what animals do? Anthropocentrism is the view that humans are the most... Right, but animals need some sort of capacity. So animals need to be able to function in some sense. So how does anthropocentrism... The entire point is that when you say animals need certain capacity, you're presupposing what you think to be valuable. Okay. And what you're trying to apply to them. To do justice to obvious, to judge independently of social context, we be devoid of substance premises or arbitrary political self substance that not necessarily be assumed to be objective young rights. The attempt to develop theory of justice independently of social context and measures of justice fails in one of two ways. If the theories of universal independence, there is no particular social situation, it is too abstract to be useful in evaluating actual institutions to be useful. It must be hidden premises about social life or act and social context which theorizing takes place. The theory of justice claims universality and necessity. It is like the place more with life and scientific knowledge while everyday discourse about justice means claims that are not theory to be demonstrated in self closed systems. There are certain claims made upon some people by others rational collection just justice hearing Paul rather than inserting it to affairs. This is consistent with her interpretation about how it is a relation between others, this is inconsistent with her interpretation as to why anthropocentrism is bad. My argument is that the only way we determine whether something is bad or not is if we're determining this social context. We are our human point of view in order to determine that because the human point of view constructs the ways we we, 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 we contextualize relations with others in the first place. We cannot, hey, we cannot take the human point of view in the first place, because even if we reject some sort of anthropocentric mindset, we still have subject that viewpoint of humans, which means her case, say, not unique because of the young evidence. Also, the young evidence functions to reason to reject the AC of conceptually about anthropocentrism in the first place because it's not independently justified from a social context because the social context is necessary in order to create justice in the first place. Also, for the interpretation of the young evidence because it's specific justice rather than morality. Morality, where it's even justice to form the moral right, because moral right is only defined the social context in which we live in, which means my case is, her case is necessary, uh, so my case is necessary step in order to interpret her arguments. So that our obligations are only intelligible to shared moral communities because they situate our identities in interest case. The meaning of our moral principles is recognized in the social community, social needs, creative identities, and shared risk language communities, offer us identity, meaning moral obligations, and only being within social context, for example, facts to make the wild example of different reasons to believe the rape is wrong, because it's a health security, different from seeing it as wrong, because it's because it's an object in person, between see how it's not supposed to be external, and just by saying, prior to the perception of the wrong, because the part from my ego has a sort of obligation to the shifts in the diary, and sort of obligation to the judge, which means she doesn't externally justify why it's bad in terms of like debate or argument. These are the arguments only in terms of the concepts. I want to talk about moral obligations, social communities also. The recognition of possession of rights comes along inclusion beings question shared moral community, Fox One. Having rights subscribing to others functions of mutual recognition of the person and the social group members of the group to recognize that others in the group possess moral persons, where the description of rights of persons involve going to resolve the issue between the appropriate the autonomy of persons who receive those rights along with their moral agents function with it, you know, which responsibility and accounting essentially for my interpretation of this question because the only way the rights function is if it is a mutual relationship of accountability, i.e., I have a duty to you, which means you will right that is the only way the judge rights function. She cannot reconceptualize rights in terms of like these are anthropocentric mindset, but she's not or again, she's not externally just by anthropocentric whereas I'm just saying how rights function within the community as opposed to giving a vague interpretation of that is not never justified specifically as to what their rights are and the analytical interpretation of what rights are. Also, thus, the criteria for the recognition of animal rights is demonstrating membership of the moral community. Fox 2 explains people belong to the moral community must be by the nation capable functioning within their must possess the ability to let the use language to purpose communicating which desires to trace the capacity of flexions except for political reactive possession. These characters plus capacity recognized in others' twins. What we mean by speaking ourselves as persons of the moral community, social group, which means true recognition of persons who exist in development of the community more moral institutions to take upon the recognition of the persons. I contend that animals not capable of being members of our moral community. So, first, it was not recognized animals as assholes because they're not capable of making moral claims against us in terms of us understanding their interests. Cohen. Rights only about beings who can make more claims against one another than necessarily human animals, but beings are not capable of exercising and responding to more claims. Their rules of rights must have the class of common rules of duty governing all. Only a community becomes capable of self-sufficient judgments that constitute right being both humans and members of the community governed by moral rules. We must not refer to being simply as being life rights, which life they search and without warrant this. This option that animals can never communicate their interests to us. For example, this is turned the AC, so we would never know even if we uh, invoke it. We would give rights to animals and conceptualize the rights that are just like in our heart. And today, I'm such a mindset because any rights of uh, claim of animals will, would come from the fact that we have a conception of animal rights rather than the animals having that conception of animal rights, i.e., which animals never be able to tell us their interests because they would never be able to Okay, which means my instinct explains how and the lack of animal communication to the humans in terms of the rights of the dog would be that the humans, well, any, any arguments that don't take into account the issues of 
the animals we've lost, but that is a double because they interest the animals. Don't exist because they can never communicate their interest between either.